Welcome Aquarius to your weekly love reading for December 4th to the 10th of 2017. So we're going to check out what's going on with you by the 10 card Celtic cross spread for Aquarius. You can check out your uh, December 2017 monthly love reading that is up. All right. So just for Aquarius for December 4th to the 10th of 2017 for Aquarius. Hello. Okay. So, whoa, we have the tower. The tower is coming through of change. Something, an event may occur this week. Um, and it could be like kind of coming into Monday um, throughout the week. Um, it just depends on when this actually happens. Um, but there is some kind of changes coming through. Um, a breakup, separation. Um, could be a lot of arguments, maybe some kind of resentment. Something is going on where. Um, and it could be like any kind of enemy that you could be around dealing with um, someone that you had a fallen out with. Uh, but there's a lot of anxiety around this particular situation. And the Nine of Wands is here. So it does seem to be some kind of conflict that's happening this week because of some kind of separation. Whether you're telling someone that you're not willing to deal with them. Um, arguments, fights, disputes, anything like that that could come out. So um, and a lot of you are trying to stand your ground because you're looking out for trouble. Um the recent past is the Seven of Swords in reverse. So maybe last month or throughout the weekend, you could have found out something. The full moon um, did come and that was in Gemini, I believe. And that's truth being revealed right here. Something coming to light with the full, full moon puts a shine, a light on something that has been hidden. So um, you're aware of something that's going on. All right. Um, in the heat of everything, either you have been caught or another person ha has been caught and you're not liking this too much. You're not even wanting to be seen, wanting to be bothered because you are feeling a bit embarrassed or just not liking the tension of this particular situation. So something is very extreme here. Um, the near future, you do have the Eight of Wands. So there is the potential for you communicating or texting that person talking about different things and uh, a lot of different activity with you and another person it could be more than one uh, romantic partner so texts phone calls emails just call, um, depends traveling and the empress is here in reverse so some of you are definitely not happy uh, with your situation um you could be dealing with the taurus but this is the wife or the husband someone is not happy with what's going on secrets are revealed and that's what the full moon usually does it can reveal um what has been suppressed so um, if you have been suppressed um physically um sexually um creatively anything like that where you're not really happy or you're feeling limited uh, this is that energy right here that's showing up now I believe uh, Capricorn just had this so you could be dealing with the Capricorn for some of you out there and the Knight of Cups is coming through of how others are seeing you or viewing you um, maybe different offers are kind of coming through to you you're being playful um, but just kind of taking your time to get to know somebody uh, Pisces Scorpio Cancer um, so you may be kind of kind of getting out and about doing different things uh, but there's still something that does happen that's kind of a uh, tense we'll see what's going on there the Seven of Wands came out for Capricorn as well, and I feel this is your partner standing up for them getting caught or you getting caught, something like that. This is the person that you are dealing with, so they are uh, being a bit rebellious right now. They're not liking something that has happened. And the Six of Pentacles is in reverse in the outcome. So there are some issues with uh, someone spending a lot of money. You may be spending a lot of money to kind of maybe cope with this particular energy right here. Or someone is being very selfish uh, in a relationship, one-sided uh, energy, and it needs to be um, addressed, I feel. Um, so, let's see. Clarify, clarify the tower for Aquarius. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. And there are some money things going on. I feel like this issue is surrounding money. I'm either good money coming in um something that you did not expect but when it comes to the moon though it does seem to me like it could be issues with someone not having enough money lies about that something like that uh, something somebody getting away with something uh clarify the moon for aquarius And then you do have the Eight of Cups. Maybe you feel like someone was in it for the money or something like that. Trying to uh, 
off a rebound or something like that they came to you for that matter or you was in it for that reason so then the eight of cups is coming through of moving away from something and having fears about that clarify the seven of swords reverse for uh, Aquarius and then you do have the six of swords in, in the uh, well the upright position so again this energy of moving on someone is moving away from something or was desiring to leave a situation clarify the seven of swords reverse for Aquarius the devil is here um, usually like either you know or you're leaving like you're admitting the truth to something and you're leaving a toxic relationship something that has not been good or healthy for some of you out there this could be revealing that someone has like addictions addictions to control addictions to sex somebody um, it just depends it could be with the capricorn clarify the eight of swords for aquarius clarify the eight of swords for aquarius and then you do have the world so this is like shutting the door and literally closing the door so nobody else can see you that you can't be bothered um just trying not to and i feel like others may be trying to you know call you out they want your attention they want to interact with you but it's like uh, you don't want to be bothered kind of thing uh clarify the eight of wands for uh, aquarius and this is uh potentially like someone you having a conversation with someone it could be very tense uh, and then you're kind of dropping the conversation saying that you can't do this anymore you know that kind of thing could definitely be coming through uh, with that communication someone is communicating more than the other all right that's what I sense there clarify the knight of cups I see clarify the knight of cups for Aquarius yeah and whoever this may be um, if you're dealing with somebody this person it could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius but they could be you know the in and out kind of person right here um, and you two may argue every time you get together or something like that and sometimes you may like that kind of interaction but um, I feel like there's some juggling though there is somebody else that's maybe speaking to someone else we have the Empress we got a, a knight we have a king here all right three people are here could be more all right and let's clarify one more part and that is the seven of wands for your partner if you're dealing with somebody for Aquarius. Clarify the seven of wands. Oh. And then you do have the Queen of Cups, so it could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Or the fact that someone, you or them, okay, have had um, an intuitive response about something that has been going on and whether it was came through through to them by the grapevine you know through conversation there was gossip or something or through their dreams and it kind of let you know that something is going on or you figured this out and someone is being caught in something all right that's how i kind of i feel uh, this week something happens all right messages for aquarius for oh we have something that flew out it says attraction and it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and for many of you you may be you know doubting yourself right now you're all in your head and you're not enjoying yourself. Message is for Aquarius for December 4th to the 10th of 2017. Love for Aquarius. We have true love. It says this is the romance of a lifetime for many of you out here now. It doesn't go right in line with this story, but I feel these are issues that you may be having with someone just like kind of on and off, like the breakup, then we are back together again, or um just an in and out kind of thing you know this car does come out for nothing so i feel like some of you may know who this person is and one more card for aquarius for december 4th to the 10th of 2017. healing family issues it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so this could be family issues there could be you and your romantic partner and your children a marriage anything like that that could that you could be going through for many of you out there so a very is a tense week i feel for some of you um but i hope that the messages did help you out so tons of love to you lots of light and remember that if you would like a private or personal reading that you go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you so have a good one